What's going on guys? It's your buddy MLC Stealth. Hello! It is, it is good to see you again. I think it's been like 20 days since I've uploaded a video. That's a that's a very long time. Um, I, I don't want this to be the same video as last time titled Where Have I Been? I seem to be making uh, quite quite a, an occurrence with being absent and just AWOL from YouTube. The um, reason I was gone recently, I'm, I'm not going to dive too deep into the subject. My My grandmother passed away and me and my mom uh, drove up to Illinois, and we were there for like a week. And when I just got back, I really didn't have any motivation to make a video. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much the gist of it. And let me tell you, driving, driving, uh, like 14 hours is not is not that fun. <laughs> we we had to drive 14 hours there and back. We took s switches, switches, not switches, shifts, shiftses. That's what I meant to say. We took shifts driving, and let me tell you, the most exciting thing about this drive, uh, when we were driving there, we we saw several signs pointing us. Uh, towards the world's largest like gift store that we were coming up on. There were there were signs like everywhere on the left, on the right, like on the road that over our head. It was great, world's largest gift store. Uh, we get there just like a little dinky little warehouse, and we were we were quite disappointed in the world's largest gift store. I, I think if anybody wanted to one up that, they could. Freaking just title your house a gift store, and congratulations, the government's gonna put signs all over the place saying, "Oh, congratulations, you're about to pass the world's largest gift store." Um, we, we didn't even go inside. Who knows? Maybe you go inside and it's like a Doctor Who weird, like, TARDIS thing where it's bigger on the inside than it is the outside. Who knows? Because that thing was tiny. That was not, that could not have been the world's largest gift store. I, I was very disappointed. On the way back, we saw it again and I just gave it, like, evil devil eyes because I was not pleased with how tiny that world's largest gift store was. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my, uh, attempted joke at having a funny conversation about a gift store. Um, but anyways, why haven't I been uploading lately? Well, like I said, I've just been lazy, and I haven't really played Call of Duty in a while. I guess that's the biggest reason. Um, but I, I've been hanging out with the crew again. I say the crew, uh, Booman61, Italics, uh, Germa, just like all, all those people that I used to make like funny collab videos with. We've been hanging out with them again. They, they made like a Counter-Strike video. I say they. Italics and Germa made a Counter-Strike funny video together. For whatever reason, I wasn't recording, but I was there. Oh, Tio too. I don't want to leave out Tio. No, no idea why I didn't say his name. We were playing with Tio too. Um, but they, they they made a version of that Counter Strike funny session we did. For whatever reason, I decided not to record it. Don't know why. Well, the reason why I got a new headset and I, I would have to like jerk with the virtual audio cables that I have, and I have not done that yet. So it, it would have been like bad audio. It wouldn't have worked out. Uh, but I need to do, I need to get on that. I just need to record funny sessions that we all do together. Because at the end of the day, that's what I think is YouTube gold. Just friends playing together, friends having fun together, and just friends laughing together. Honestly, uh, that, that that's what you see all the, I like big YouTubers doing, and that that's what people enjoy doing, and that that's what's actually like fun to do. I, I love just playing with people and having a good time. Um, but anyways, there's have I said this yet? There's no sound in this gameplay, unfortunately, um, because. I, I was doing something in the background that screwed up my sound. I, I, I was playing like a Twitch TV stream at the same time as playing this game. And I have virtual audio cable set up but when I'm doing sound on like Google Chrome at the same time. Uh, it does not go together. It screws up the sound altogether. And I had a death right there. That was my that was my only death of that round. I think I went 38 and won that round. And then this round I do something and it ends up going 69 and 3. Um, but the sound probably isn't that big of a deal and that there isn't any. <laughs> Let's be honest. If there's sound in this gameplay, I, I have Warthog active. That's all you'd be hearing. Just that swarm of bees. Just the... Um, it's, it's probably a good thing that there is no sound right now. Um, I, I think to just troll, I, sh I should just like not do commentaries on videos and instead only have gameplays and just turn the sound volume up to maximum. So even when you like mute your volume, you're still going to hear the Warthog and it's going to like annoy you. <laughs> No, I don't know why I do that. That's like really mean. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. I, I need to. Oh, by the way, have I said this yet? I don't know if I said this in a commentary, but that sign I just passed. That sign that's like over the point of C. I, I might come up to it again. No, oh, oh, no. Am I gonna go back to C? Come on, Brett, go capture, go capture C. I want to talk to people about. No, I'm not gonna go back to it. But there's that sign on C. It's that same sign that's like in that train station uh, map, obviously. I don't remember the map name because I haven't played this in a while. But that same sign, it looks like a Michael Buble poster. I, I don't know why. 
I just think it does. It looks exactly like it. I, I googled Michael Bublé and went to images, and one of the very exact things was, like, exactly looking like that. I was like, oh, what, is Michael Bublé in this Call of Duty universe? I'm fine with that. I, I have one of his CDs. I, he's a great singer. Reminds me of, like, Frank Sinatra in, like, present day. He's great. Uh, by the way, if anybody hasn't listened to Michael Bublé, um, I, I don't know. I feel like people make fun of as a joke, when I'm ever hanging out with, like, Shibby, I'm like, oh, pop, him, pop on the Michael Bublé. Or whenever he's streaming, he has, like, music playing. Uh, he's always doing song recommendations. I tell him to put on the Michael. Put on the boobs. Because uh, I, th I think he's fantastic. But uh, as an inside joke, I, I think people think that he's, like, a girly... S he's... What? No. He, he's fantastic. We're... Oh! We're approaching on C again. Let's see if we look at the poster. No. No, we're not going to. But anyways, go, go into, like, a private match right now. Look at that poster. Type in Michael Bublé. Go to images. And just be like, oh, look! Does look exactly the same. Uh, it's that poster that's facing C. It's just like right on a little rock, and it's looking right at C. Go look at it, and then go be amazed at how correct I am about Michael Bublé. And then go go to Walmart, go to Best Buy, go wherever, uh, search Michael Bublé on the CD store, and go buy that <laughs> because he's fantastic. He he really is. Um, if I didn't know any better, I'd say Michael Bublé gave me a paid promotion to promote him. I wish he did. That'd be amazing. Um, I, I really do like him as a singer, though. He, he has a nice, deep, relaxing voice. I feel like every time I listen to him, I'm just, like, holding a wine glass in my hand and going, mm, yes, mm. <laughs> I really do. He may, just When I first got that CD, played it in my car um, and started listening to it. Me and my friend were both listening to it. And I don't know why I'm buying CDs. What is this, like, 1995? No. We have, like, download music and you just think there's other things. that I, I don't know. I, I feel like good having like a physical copy that I can hold in my hand of something uh same with like people buying I think like I talked to Italix about this he buys a lot of like DVDs and I just download or watch things on Netflix and uh his, his reasoning he likes having the physical copies of DVDs like in his hand sitting in his like room makes a lot of sense I, I understand that philosophy that's kind of why I bought like a Buble CD uh, but me and my friend were listening to it in the car and we were both agreeing that it's making us feel more professional as human beings and more upper class which again makes absolutely zero sense we're both idiots for thinking that but uh yeah we did we did think that um so pretty much that's going to be the end of the gameplay that's going to be the end of my paid promotion uh to promote michael buble and that's going to be the end of me talking about the world's largest gift store if you enjoyed any of the topics feel free to uh tell me to upload more videos on my twitter because <laughs> i need to i need to do that uh, but yeah you guys have a fantastic and awesome day i'll definitely talk to you ladies later Peace.